Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday to you. We are going to do our uh, daily devotional. We are um, in the book of Matthew today. It's really, a, it's a good one. It's a good one. Um, my name is Winona. I am the leader of Busted Knuckles, the adult recovery ministry over at Roadhouse Biker Church. And I just want to uh, start us off with a word of prayer before we get started. All right. You guys go grab your Bibles. Dear Heavenly Father, we are so grateful that you bless us each day with just your guidance. We're grateful for your book, um, our owner's manual, if you will, Father God. We are grateful for this because it does guide us through. Your word stands true, and it has for thousands of years, Father, and it gives us the tools that we need to get through each day because, Lord, we go through so much each day. But, you know, we know that you're next to us, and we are grateful for that. So, Lord, I ask for blessings on each person watching these videos and their families and just thank you again, your son's name. Amen. Amen. So like I said, we are in the book of Matthew today. Um, let me open this up here. Uh, the book of Matthew. I lost my page. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There it is. Okay. So Matthew 26, and it's going to be verses 36 to 39. Okay. Then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to them, sit here while I go over there and pray. He took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee along with him, and he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, my soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. Going a little further, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed, My father, if it's possible, may this cup be taken from me, not as I will, but as you will. Wow. Jesus was experience, experiencing great anguish because he knew what was coming. He knew that, yes, there was going to be some awful pain, physical pain coming and separation from God, his father, and his death to pay for our sins. But you know, and Jesus, as being human at that point, could understand what we experience when we go through suffering. Not to say that our suffering is anything compared to what he went through, but the, the, the wheel had been set in motion the divine course was in motion and jesus knew what needed to be done and being human he was anguishing over it you know but you know jesus drew strength from god his father to get through all of this and that's where us in recovery as we go through our struggles we gain strength through our relationship with our god our father amen and then you know he's talking about you know take this cup, if you will. You know, he's not telling God, no, I don't want to do this. Actually, God, he's telling God that, yes, it would be nice if that could happen, but I know it's not, God. It's your will be done, not mine. And, you know, I think that um, he was going through so much suffering in that garden there of thinking about what's happening. He was filled with so much sorrow to the point of death. This is where he was sweating and crying tears of blood, sweating out blood because he was in so much anguish. And I don't think, I don't think it was so much what was going to happen, his death. He knew that was inevitable. I think what he anguished so much about, and we should think about this is the separation that he was going to experience between him and God, his father. He knew that at one point on that cross, he was going to be alone, separated from God. But because of that death that he was going to experience, he paid for our sins, for our sins. He suffered. And through that suffering, he knows what we go through. Amen. So there's some verses in Hebrews. It's five, uh, let me find it, five, seven through nine. And it kind of tells us, gives us a little bit of reference about Jesus while he was on earth. And it goes like this. It's Hebrews five, seven through nine. During the days of Jesus' life on earth, he offered up prayers and petitions with fervent cries and tears to the one who could save him from death. 
and he was heard because of his reverent submission. Son though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered, and once made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obeyed him, and was designated by God to be the high priest in the order of Melchizedek. Being human, at one point, Jesus knows what we're going through. And at any point, Jesus knew that God could save him from death, but he knew there was a divine course that had been set. And once it was put into motion, Jesus knew what he had to go through. Amen. So let's um, take a look at our devotional, the Life Recovery Devotional. Step six, day 18, 18 days into the month of June. And this is called God's Will, God's Way. As we work through the steps of recovery, we look up a long, difficult road towards a better life. And though we know the goal is worthy of our commitment, we often find the challenge of the process overwhelming. As God goes about removing our defects, we may wish that there were some other way. Gosh, we may feel fear, a lack of confidence, deep anguish, and a host of other emotions which threaten to stop us in our tracks. Jesus understands how we feel. He had a similar experience the night he was arrested. His friends were nearby, but when he needed them, they were asleep. He told his friends, my soul is crushed with grief to the point of death. That's Matthew 26, 38. And as he realized the enormity of the pain he would face, he looked for some other way. He was not immediately able to accept the path set before him. Instead, he struggled and he prayed the same thing three times. My father, if it's possible, let this cup of suffering be taken away from me. Yet I want your will to be done, not mine. And that's verse 39. Finally, he found the grace to accept God's plan. We may be overwhelmed as we face our own crosses on the way to a new life, but during such times of stress, we can look to Jesus for encouragement. As we look to him, we can express our deepest emotions. We can be honest about our struggle and cry out for help. We can also be confident that we will be given the strength we need for the next step. Because of the anguish that Jesus experienced, he can truly relate to our suffering. Amen. So who are you going to turn to when you're going through troubles? Who's going to give you the strength? God the Father. Amen. God, your father. God, my father. He's going to give us the strength. Amen. Walking right alongside of us. So the sinless, think of this one. I, it's in my study Bible here. The sinless son of God took our sins upon himself to save us the separation and the suffering. Amen. So, hey, you guys have a great day today. Stay in prayer. Stay in touch. Um, on a note, I have to say we had our first face-to-face -face Busted Knuckles meeting last night. I hosted it here at the house in the living room. Um, it was so good to, to hear voices discussing these defects of character and everything. It was so good to be able to get together again. So, hey, if, if you are interested in a Busted Knuckles meeting, it's an adult recovery meeting, um, Christian-based. Um, get in touch with me. Get in touch with me. Um, uh, if you're on Facebook, Instagram, I'm on those. You can find me. Send me an instant message. If you've got my number, text me. I'm not going to give it out, obviously. But um, you know, you find you find healing. You find resources. You find accountability. You find fellowship, friendship in these meetings. Uh, it was such a blessing, such a blessing. So, hey, you guys, God bless you. Have a great day today. All right.